In this episode, we're going to look at how to sync your audio and video when you recorded them separately. And we're going to be doing that in Premiere Pro CC. Now, we've covered this in the past, but it's gotten a lot easier with this newer version of Premiere Pro. It's almost automatic. Check this out. Now, in the past, we've done a video on how to sync your audio with your video. And those of you who have been subscribed to my channel for a while know that I like to record my audio separately for a variety of reasons I'm not going to jump into here. But if you're curious about those, go back to my channel and check out uh, some of the audio episodes from the past. Um, and you'll find some hopefully good information there about why I record audio separately. The main idea is that I think I can get better audio typically that way. It's not for every circumstance, so I don't want to come across as... as conveying that, that this is the only way to do it. Um, but whenever I can, and whenever it's feasible, I like to record my audio separately. Now, one of the biggest objections or one of the biggest concerns people express when they hear about that whole concept is, uh, I don't wanna have to sync it in post. It takes so much time. And I think that used to be the case definitely in the past, but it's gotten a lot easier. Now, here's an example from Premiere Pro CC. It's December, 2013, so whatever version that is, uh, let's see here. About that's 721. So this will probably just get easier as time goes on, but I'm, that's the version I'm using just for reference. I have here an audio clip and a video clip. These are both recorded at the same time. This on an audio recorder and this on my camera. Now on the camera, I also recorded audio. I needed to use that. And, I'm, and the, the purpose of that was to use the audio that it captured as reference audio. And that is just as a kind of a placeholder that I could use here in Premiere to sync up the actual audio, production audio I wanted to use from the field recorder. So another note here is that you'll notice I recorded from the field recorder at 48 hertz or 48 kilohertz. And the reason I did that is that my particular camera records audio at 48 kilohertz. And you wanna make sure you, you line those up. It's called a sampling rate. And the reason you wanna do that is it will prevent drift um, over time. So if you have a longer clip, Sometimes there's a tendency for some devices to, to get out of sync, especially if you're recording at a different sampling rate. So you want to try and keep those sampling rates the same. Now, um, just check on the manual for your camera if you're not sure what your camera shoots. Most cameras will shoot 48 kilohertz, so that's going to be the norm. All right, so if I want to sync these up, all I need to... Oh, another note. And we've talked about this before as well. At the start of each of my clips, once I have the camera rolling and the audio rolling, I will do a clap. And the purpose of that clap is it makes it super easy for Premiere or me, if I have to do it manually, to sync up the audio and the video. And in fact, that's why there are clapper boards and they've been used for so many years in film production. So nowadays we just put that in there for safety and it makes it a little bit easier, I think, for Premiere to line them up. So all I do is I highlight my two clips, I right click, I choose merge clips, that brings up this little dialogue here. I can give my merge clip a new name, whatever name I choose, and we'll go ahead and leave that as is. In the synchronize point setting here, I'll choose audio. And you can choose which channel you wanna use. If you're, if you're recording multiple channels, I just recorded one channel, so it's not a big deal. So I'm just gonna choose audio. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna take the audio file from my field recorder, compare it to the audio file in the video, and figure out where to put the, you know, where to line up the recording from the field recorder. And then I also check, check this option down here, remove audio from AV clip. What that'll do is once it has it seeked up, it will remove the audio that came with the video and replace it entirely with the audio from the audio recorder or the field recorder. So all I do is click okay and there we go. We created this new clip. I'll just drop that down into a sequence here and you can see we have our new clip. And this is what it sounds like. A few options for you. I hope you found those helpful. If there was something we didn't cover here, or and you can see it lined them up quite beautifully. Now, the only other thing I do here is I will line up my start and end points so that they're the same on the audio and the video. And the way you do that is hold down the option key on the Mac, or I believe it's the alt key on the PC. Just, and while you're holding those down, drag those in. Now they're lined up. Now what I can do here is I'll just come back here and figure out where I want my start point. There we go. So I can drag it in here like that. Now this is what it's like. Well, there are a few options for you. I hope you found those helpful. There we go. So super straightforward, super quick. Um, I think that should eliminate for most people the concern about 
well, gee, I don't want to sync. I don't want to have to sync my audio in post because it's so much work. Well, it really isn't much work nowadays, unless you're doing a, you know, if you're going to shoot 800 clips in a in a gig, um, yeah, maybe it's going to be a problem then. If you're going to be shooting that many clips, then probably um, recording into the camera may be a better choice. But in my case here, when I'm producing, say for example, an interview or a talking head video or some sort of relatively short spot or something that is really critical to me where I really wanna make sure I get awesome sound. In those cases, it's pretty easy to, uh, to go ahead and record the sound separately, record reference audio on your camera and then sync them together in post. Now, this is an example in Premiere Pro. A similar functionality exists in Final Cut Pro 10 and uh, in various other applications out there for editing videos. So check yours out to see if yours has that if you're not using this. And I hope that was helpful for you. Thanks for checking out the show. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those down below. Always love to hear from you guys and, and learn from your experiences or answer any questions you might have. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that. We'll talk to you again soon.